Hello everyone, this is Mr. Pell, and today we're going to talk about segments, lines, and rays, and get into how to name them and learn a few things about them. So, here we go. First, let's just talk about how we uh, name those things and kind of what they are. Um, so a segment, a line segment, uh, hopefully you kind of know this stuff, it might be a little bit of review. A line segment is, whoops, that's not the right tool, let's try that again. Line segment is just straight, it ends, it has endpoints, um, it has two endpoints, in this case there and there, so maybe I might label that point A and that point B. When we label points, we use capital letters, always. And then when we name that segment, we would call that segment AB. And the way we label it is the capital A and B. We name it by its endpoints, and we put a little line segment bar over it. So you read that line segment AB. That's how you read it. You don't just say AB. Now, if you want to talk about the measure of line segment AB, if you want to tell me that the measure of that segment is, let's say, 5 inches long, sorry, my writing was bad there, then you would say AB equals 5 inches, okay? But this, is, this notation with the bar over it is referring to the shape itself, that segment. This notation is referring to the measure of that segment. Okay, moving on. A line, we talked about this a little bit already, a line goes on forever, it's straight, we can't really define it. Um, but it does have to be straight. You don't have to say straight line. It's assumed that it's straight. A couple of ways to name a line. Sometimes we'll name a line with a lowercase letter. Usually that's written in script just to make it easy to identify. So I might have like a lowercase l. So I could call it line l. Um, but it can also be named by any two points on the line. So if I had, uh, oops, I might already use that. So let's say I had point C here and point D there. I could call it line CD. If I do that, you put the CD with the line symbol on top. Notice the arrowheads are there. Big difference between that and this one where there weren't arrows. So that's the different notation. If there was another named point on that line, let's say that point E, you'd have a bunch of choices. You can name that line by any two points on that line. So I could call it line CE if I wanted to, because it's the line that passes through those two points. You could call it line DE if you wanted to. And you could even reverse the letters because the line goes forever in both directions, so it doesn't really matter. Um, so that's how you can name a line. Now for rays, it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to get a, a new page here so I have some room. So for a ray, a ray starts at one point and goes on forever, so it's sort of like a line cut off. Naming rays can be a little tricky because the order, the direction you go in matters. Goes blah, the direction you're going in matters. So if that's point A and that's point B, uh, ray A B, ray A B, would be the ray that starts at point A and goes through point B. So it would be going that way. With rays, the order matters. Um, it rays the order matter. So if I were to try to call this ray BA, that's a different ray than ray AB. That's huge. You should really write that down. Ray BA is different. Ray BA would actually be referring to the ray that started here at B and went in the other direction through A. So a totally different thing. Okay? Big, big, big concept there. So that's, uh, and that's how we name rays. So you start the first letter is the end point of the ray, and the second letter is a point that it passes through. Um, again, like with, uh, with with before, if there was another named point on there, let me just get that red one off of there so we can just focus on, uh, focus on this. Um, if there was another named point, let's say C, you could also call this ray AC, because notice that's the same ray. It starts at A and it goes forever that way, so through B and through C. So either of those would work. Um, but you couldn't call it ray BC. That would be a different ray, right? That would be the ray that starts at B and passes through C. That's a different ray than ray AC, which is one that starts at A and passes through C. Okay, so rays can be a little tricky, so hopefully you took some, some good notes on that. Um, okay, moving on.
Uh, <clears throat> so talk a little bit about the difference between these two. I want to introduce you to uh, this notation. Hopefully you've seen this one before. That's equals. So we say measurements are equal. Right, so I might say if AB is equal to 5 inches and CD is equal to 5 inches, I could say that AB is equal to CD. And what I'm really saying is the measure of segment AB is equal to the measure of segment CD. Okay, um, Or a measure of segment AB is equal to 5 inches, whatever it might be. This notation is totally different. This is line segment AB, that's the shape. Um, this symbol here means congruent. Congruent. Okay. Congruent means same shape, same size. Okay, so they're exactly the same shape and same size. So same shape, same size. Okay, so that's what congruent means. <clears throat> so you could say that two shapes are congruent to each other. So if A, B, and C, D have the same measure, you might say that segment A, B is congruent to segment C, D. All right, so this and this, they're kind of saying the same thing, but they, they are different. This is, the, the shapes have the same shape and size. Those segments are the same size. This is saying whatever A, B measures is equal to whatever CD measures. Okay, so so that's some really important notation and thoughts around naming things. Um, that's all for now. Thanks.